So in the last unit, you learned about the terrestrial planets, the four smaller planets that orbit closest to the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. In this unit, we're going to explore the outer solar system, the asteroid belt, and everything further out to the Kuiper belt and the Oort cloud. So I thought I would start by showing you the relative sizes of the planets using some simple things you might find in a craft store, basically styrofoam and beads. So here is a ball representing Jupiter. And on this scale, the second largest planet, Saturn, would be here. Now, the rings are actually a little bit too big. But the worst part is they're actually way too thick. The, the thinnest thing I could find is this blank CD. The rings of Saturn are actually a lot thinner to this, than this to scale. And twice every Saturnian year, about every 15 years, we see Saturn edge on and the rings can actually disappear. Well, that kind of sucks when you're looking through the telescope and you want to see rings, but it's really great for astronomers because they can actually look for moons orbiting Saturn when the rings aren't in the way. So again, now let's move down to their Saturn. And here's Uranus and Neptune. Uranus and Neptune are about the same size to each other. And they are smaller than Saturn, as you can see. If you care, Uranus is the greener one and Neptune is the bluer one. Now, looking at Uranus and Neptune, here are the four terrestrial planets to scale. Don't know if you can really see them. We have here a black bead representing Mercury. We have two pearly white beads representing Venus and Earth because they're about the same size. And we have a white bead, excuse me, a silver bead that represents Mars. So hopefully you can see the relative sizes of the small inner terrestrial planets to the large outer planets.